So here is the advanced research workflow. Let's try one of these topics, fusion energy developments. So as you see here, it is beginning the research, researching a topic, fusion energy development, generating report. And it is first checking if there, there are cached report or cached search results. And if not cached results found, it is going to search for the article and found seven articles. And each of those articles, it will scrape. Okay, so it has saved the scraped articles and preparing the research report, advancements in fusion energy, executive summary introduction, methodology, key findings. So nicely formatted report including the references and we can download the report here so here we have the nicely formatted markdown report okay so and next time if you give the same topic and if uh, use search cache and content cache you will notice that it will produce the report from the cache welcome to techie talks ai I am Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. So welcome to the series of videos on Fidata, which is a very lightweight agentic framework. And the beauty is they have given numerous examples. So we are going through those examples one by one so that you have a ready reference collection of videos where you can see how those agents work and how we can make changes to it. So let's look at the code. This is the Agnos official repo, cookbook folder, getting started, and nine, research workflow. Okay, so here, this is an example that shows how to build a sophisticated research workflow that combines web search capabilities, content extraction and processing. Essentially, we find the URLs and then scrape the URL to get the details Then academic style report generation and, and smart caching for improved performance. Here we are defining the article structure, title URL summary, then the search results structure, article list of articles, then scrape article structure. All these are using Pydantic base model. Title, URL, summary, and content. Then here, we are defining the workflow. So here we are defining the workflow, which is nothing but a collection of agents. Agent 1, which is a web search tool. Agent 2, article. Then a writer agent, which writes the report. So this method gets the search results. Then here we have the method to scrape the articles based on the search results. And then here we have write search report. Okay. Write input topic searched scraped articles. And here it also adds the report to the cache. So that is the code. Now let's look at the look at our repo that we have added you just need to git clone the repo url that is given in the description so you need to edit this dot env dot example and add your api keys and rename it as dot env before you run this docker compose is what we will use to run it so to run the command line application what you need to do is docker compose run app Okay, so it's asking what is the research topic. I can enter like this, artificial consciousness research. So this is running the application that is given by Agno. Okay, so it found seven articles. Okay, so it's preparing the report, executive summary, introduction. So all important sections including the references clear now what we have done is 
we have created the Streamlit web application for you to conveniently build this and showcase to your clients. If you have an automation agency and if you are building a research assistant for your clients, this is how you should present it to the client. The same code put in the Streamlit application by adding just a couple of lines. So here we are including the Streamlit library, then Streamlit title, subtitle. So all these are self-explanatory. We will see how we can run it easily. Okay, and here we have, we have the text box where you can enter your query. How do we run it? Docker compose up app hyphen st. Now let's browse localhost column 8511. Okay, so let's ask quantum computing breakthroughs. Is checking if cached scraped articles exist and it is now scraping. And while it is doing, let's look at the code. And here we are using OpenAI now, but instead you can use any other model that you wish. So let, let's copy those as well. So if you want to use DeepSeek, Grox, Llama 3.3 or Gemini, Gemini 2.0 flash experiment, that experiment has become live now. It is scraping the seven articles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's writing the report So about Google's Willow and Microsoft's Myrana. And here we can download the report. Okay, quantum computing breakthrough, key findings, takeaways, and references. Okay, so that is it for this uh, demo. Please keep these videos handy and make sure that you watch the other videos and wait for our next video in this series. And please remember to like, share and subscribe and give your valuable comments. See you again in another video. Bye-bye.